Major League Strikeout. Beautiful game. One, two pitch. Breaking ball. See you later. How about that? Pryor gives up a leadoff hit. A sacrifice and punches out the next two. Welcome to the big league, Mark. There's a rocket into the right field corner. That's going to score one for sure. Here comes Sosa. He's flying around third. He's going to score. And McGriff with a double puts the Cubs in front. Go down the list in a second. Two balls, two strikes. There's that breaking ball. Strong Miller, ball. second one. First, there two. Go. That ball had been hit four feet to the right. That might have been a triple play. <laughs> Would that have taken the cake? Right. Kodiak to third, two outs. Go in 1996. Jeremy Gonzalez and Kyle Farnsworth. And Pokey Reese with a solid single to right. Scores the first Pittsburgh run, and it's a two-to-one ball game here in the second. Well, there's a mistake right there with the man on third base. No question. And 115, 120 pitches will be it for Mr. Pryor. There's his third strikeout. He surrenders his first big league run, but he hasn't surrendered a lead. He's got a 2-1 advantage, and Mark Pryor's coming up third. Stuff was when you're seeing him for the first time. Well, it takes me. Hopefully, I can see his uh, his repertoire the first time up at the plate. You know, if he throw a fastball, curveball, normally hits Kofax real good. Wow. Breaking ball. See you later. That's five for Pryor. And he's throwing a whole kitchen sink at him right now, Dave. He's got his repertoire humming. 2-1 Cub lead. Mm. And he strikes out the side for the first time in the big leagues. Mark Pryor takes care of Ramirez. He struck out six through three. And I take my Lexus to the ballpark in Arizona or here in Chicago. Look at Sammy on roll. Deep Beautiful. to right center. A towering home run by Sosa. His second in as many days. And that's like he dropped the accelerator to the floor of one of those Lexuses. <laughs> Well, when Sammy hitting the ball that way, he's staying on the baseball because he, over the years, he drove the ball to right field pretty good. <laughs> and he is calm and cool. Yeah, well, seven strikeouts. The last five outs he's gotten have come via the strikeout. We're like a 45, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Swung on it high in the air center field. Patterson back, the back on the warning track. He reaches up, makes the catch. And that retires the side. Young hit it hard, but hit it to straightaway center. And Pryor works a scoreless fourth. And this is just a, a nice day to play baseball. Patterson up the middle. Wilson at short. Good play. Good throw. And that'll retire the side. No runs, no hits, one error, and one man left. We head to the Pittsburgh fifth. Playing catch with Joe Girardi. Anything you put down, you're going to throw the pitch. Reese scalds that to center. Patterson, dead run. Still going. What a catch. Speed. Hey, that's like the whistle you used to do it. <laughs> One out in the fifth. You know, did you see Corey Patterson? You know, he read the ball off the bat. A T-shirt. Girardi, line drive, caught at second by Pokey Reese. Real good play by the former Cincinnati Gold Glover. One up, one down. At third base, the outstanding player that he was. There's a pull up the middle by Alou. Williams knocked to the ground. Around third will come Sosa. Hermanson drops the ball. McGriff takes third. And how about this? Three, four, and five really clicking tonight. Those three men have been on base, Billy, seven times in three at-bats. Well, this is this is why Andy McPhail went out and got uh, a loop. Had been performing so inconsistently has come through tonight. That ball driven to right. Good catch out there by McCobiak. McGriff will tag and score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's a 5-1 Cub lead. Good at bat by Miller. Brian Giles, Aramis Ramirez, and Rob McCobiak are coming up. And Giles hits a towering fly ball deep to left center field. And that one is gone over the basket. Brian Giles hits his ninth home run of the year. And that makes it a 5-2 to two game. What do you know, Dave? Billy Williams leaves. Tyson Chandler shows up, and the other guys score a run. <laughs> My goodness, Tyson. Oh, man, oh, I didn't really bring the bad luck in here that, you know, I wasn't expecting coming in as a rookie. Ten strikeouts. Wow. You sound like a man who's a big baseball fan, huh? He swung at a bad ball, grounds to short, and Kendall is retired. Mark Pryor 
gives up the home run, strikes out the next two, and gets a ground ball to short. Standing ovation for Pryor, who strikes out 10 in his big league debut in Chicago. Very weak hitting team. They have had all kinds of problems, but Brown scorches a single to right. Young around third. Sosa loads up, throw to the plate, a little late. And it's a 5-3 to three game. Brown a pinch hit single. That'll bring the tying run to the plate for Pittsburgh here in the seventh. 2-2 two -two pitch. Base hit to left field. Here comes Benjamin around third. He will score without a play. And we've got a one-run game on our hands. Jason Kendall knocks in his 16th run. His third RBI of this series. And charge that run to Jeff Becerra. Pretty good deal. Pull toward third inside the back fair. Ojeda around second on his way to third. There's a green lineup. And he's going to score. How about that? A double for Lewis. Makes it a 6-4 game. The Pirates don't guard the line. And a slow roller results in a big insurance run. One ball, one strike. Driven down the right field line, Girardi, another big hit. Lewis scores. Joe around second. He's on his way to third, and he is out. Why not? Girardi drives in Lewis to make it a three-run game. Give him a double, give him an RBI, his second of the year. That is the temptation the manager usually has. There's Nunez trying to go to left. Robbed by Miller, scooped by McGriff. Super play at both ends. Finally, Dave Otto, the Cubs play him with a little sign of emotion. Ground ball to short. Augie's got it, and the Cubs win it. Seven for your final. Mark Pryor, congratulations. Welcome to the show, and what a show he put on tonight, Dave Otto. Ten strikeouts in six innings. He's a major league victor for the first of what will be, I'm sure, many, many times. What impressed me most about Mark Pryor was the composure that he showed.